Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at what is going on for you guys in your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. Whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. And as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. If by the end of this reading you're still needing some more messages or confirmation, you can always take a look at your other placements. That's an option for you if you're interested in personal readings. All of that info is in my description box below. Okay, so I'm seeing that in the past you have gotten together with someone. Three of Cups. So for some of you, you had a reconciliation or you have just gotten together with someone. Something has been growing here. Feelings have been growing. Um, I'm seeing a friendship that has turned into something more. It's turned into feelings. So we have the cassette also, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I'm seeing that there's something that you've been thinking about constantly, uh, replaying over and over. And I'm seeing juggling. I'm seeing juggling when it comes to more than one person here. And it kind of looks like that it's mostly coming from you guys because we do have in your energy a hand of cards. So you have options, you have um, different possibilities, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand and gambling. So somebody has been juggling with more than one person, but I do see that somebody's been torn between two in the past year, weighing out the pros and cons and things have been up in the air. So no titles, nothing like that. I am seeing that things have been kind of in limbo. Somebody has been having doubts here about a commitment, about making things more serious. So I do see though that you haven't been on good terms with someone for Five of Swords. So something has kind of uh, there has been some sort of conflict here. Someone you've been having conflict challenges with and I'm hearing somebody was being called out for, of, for something. So let's take a look at you right now. Aries. What is happening for Aries right now? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like to me that you're taking it slow because you have been hurt. Five of a Cups. And I am getting that you, you have an offer. You do want to make a commitment. And I see that you are somebody who... You work hard and you don't give up that easily, but you are being cautious because of you uh, because of, because you have been hurt before because uh, you have been in your feelings things have been emotional for you. There's been challenges when it comes to emotions you have lost before, and I'm seeing that right now you're listening to your intuition here with this high priestess. You have an offer secretly. And I see you right now, you're kind of doing your own thing, but you do have an offer that you're keeping quiet, that you're that you're not expressing, you're keeping it a secret, something that you're keeping a secret for yourself, but you're also observing. So you're observing someone's actions, you're observing um, what's kind of going on in this situation. So maybe you're a tarot reader or you're getting information through readings like this. But you haven't spoke your truth. Page of Swords reverse. So I see you slowly taking action, but you still haven't communicated the fact that you are taking a chance and you're taking a risk on this. 
on this person. You're ready to go towards the future with them. And in their energy, we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So this person, they have emotions for you. They have feelings for you and they are thinking of you. They want to let you know. Let's take a look at them right now. Okay, so three of wands. By the way, I'm seeing three three, so you could be seeing threes a lot. I see this person is waiting for a call from you or they're waiting for a text from you. They they feel like there's something that you have to say to them. And I'm seeing that they're waiting for that information to come in. So they're kind of expecting it. I am, I am seeing that this person is waiting for either you to break free from something toxic, the devil reversed, um, breaking free from an attachment. They're waiting for that. They're waiting for something to break free. And it's because I see that Ace of Pentacles goes reversed. Things can't get off the ground before this can happen. So they're they're waiting for that so that things can get off the ground. They haven't communicated and they haven't made an offer because they're waiting for you to come towards them first. Even though they they feel very passionate towards you and they want to make a commitment. They're waiting for you to take action first. And I see you, I see that you're getting ready to come towards them slowly. But I see that you are. They're watching you. They're, they're observing you as well. So let's take a look at the near future for you guys. Oh, literally, just as I said that. I just realized that we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stocking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So let's take a look at that near future. <clears throat> the moon. Somebody is scared to get their heart broken in the near future. So, I'm seeing that there's confusion and I'm seeing that there's fears of getting disappointed. Thinking about the worst case scenario when it comes to coming forward and, and making a commitment, making an offer. So, it's like you're psyching yourself out of this we have a true pair here queen of pentacles and king of pentacles but reverse so you two are both not cooperating you're not looking at each other to say like both of you are not taking any action like i see you're slowly planning to take action but still i don't see it happening in the near future but they know there's like a sense of knowing, but at the same time, it's disappointing at the pace that things are going at. Because it's like no one's making the first move yet. I'm seeing there's a, a secret. You have a secret. Let's take a look at this outcome for you. Okay, four of cups reversed. Someone's changing their mind. You're changing your mind. And you're not making a choice. Wow. <laughs> it's like you changed your mind. 
you're changing your mind. I'm seeing that in the outcome, somebody is regretting a missed opportunity here and is changing their mind and wanting to wanting to give. But still, there's still more than one person involved. And no one's really making a choice. I'm hearing just in case, like, someone keeps another person just in case, like, this doesn't work out, or... This is, this is just so all over, <laughs> this is all over the place. But in the outcome, somebody is coming back around with an offer that at one point was rejected, and I see that, I see a change of mind. We have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And it looks like you're going to be completely fine with that and on their side as well. I don't see any heartbreak. So let's get some specifics and details for you guys. Details and specifics for Aries. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. I'm seeing also Pisces, major Pisces. Okay, so I see that someone in the past could have been a wallflower, not speaking up, not uh, not speaking their mind, replaying events over in their head here. You or this person could be a dark male or somebody who's dark for their cultural background. Also, I'm seeing a blonde female or somebody who could be a redhead or have white hair. So destiny. There's something unexpected here coming towards you. I see that this was meant to be, it was meant to happen, but in the outcome, things are still going to be confusing. Like there's, I don't see a title. I don't, I, I see things are pretty much open the, up in the air, an open relationship. This could be an, literally an offer for an open relationship or somebody is just, it's just, there's no title. Some one person is not as serious as the other or has a wandering eye. Also, <clears throat> somebody is in a relationship in the outcome, but low key feeling like they missed out on an opportunity with somebody else. So that's the juice right there. Is there anything else that we should know for Aries? Believe in the impossible. So I'm seeing that there is an opportunity. I'm seeing once in a blue moon opportunity. This person is wanting balance with you. Balance and spiritual, a balanced spirituality and practicality. Full moon and Pisces again. Pisces, like I said earlier. Also seeing Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So. I do see that there's stagnation. Somebody's being stagnant. Hold your vision. There's something that you're waiting on. Show the world the real you. Waiting on information for someone to reveal their true feelings. So with that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section down below. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.